Keith, first of all, tell me a little bit about what is Skinopathy all about? So about three years ago, right at the beginning of the pandemic, my co-founder, Dr. Colin Hong, is a plastic surgeon. And he has over 100,000 patients. And he saw that there was a significant increase in late stage skin cancer since the pandemic started. And if we don't start taking care of it, that is just gonna balloon and a lot of people might suffer from skin cancer or even die from it. So we built technology that helps people screen for skin cancer and any skin condition on any cell phone more accurately than a doctor and will get you the help you need. And I guess in today's age, uh, without being political, but in today's age where there are long waiting lists, this is, this is a very important technology. It, it, it is, and that's precisely why we started, right? So as an example, we're in Toronto today. The average wait time in Toronto is about 11 months now. It might be as fast as three months from referral to treatment of a condition, but 11 months seems to be what we're seeing. But we're seeing up to 18 months in Ottawa, over two years in Northern Ontario, and up to three years in Saskatchewan. If you have cancer, any kind of cancer, waiting over a year just sounds horrible, but you might actually die from something that you should not die from. Tell me how, the, uh, how does the app work? So it's, we started by creating the technology, artificial intelligence, that can screen for any skin condition. The challenge is usually the technology that, ha that exists now requires you to buy expensive hardware, like an attachment to your phone or some other separate device for you to take pictures of your skin. Now, I don't know about you, but most of us aren't gonna buy a camera just to take pictures of bumps on our skin, right? And so what we need to solve for, think about Dr. Hong's patients, was we wanna give grandma, our aunts, our, our, our family in long-term care facilities and hospitals, the ability to do it at the bedside or at home. So it has to work on any cell phone. And so that's what our technology does. It screens for the condition on any cell phone or any camera. And more importantly, it ties it to a medical intervention. So not only do we tell you what we think it is, we'll get you the help you need. Talk to me about the successes, for want of a better word, that, you, that, the, that the, the app has managed to, to achieve over this time. I mean, look, we built this application to help people. And it's not just an application, it's a technology. Um, and so, especially for someone like me who's been in technology my entire career, but healthcare is relatively new for me, the fact that we can even save one life means the world to me. I can't tell you how many times I've cried in the past two and a half years because patients meet us and tell us they are planning their funerals. They've been waiting for so long they can't get help. And if we can help you, and we have, that's probably the greatest success I can personally get out of this. But you know, if we look at successes outside of patients, we've won countless awards for our technology. Um, just last two weeks ago, we won at the Canadian Society of Plastic Surgeons Innovation First Prize, um, which is a very big achievement, um, recognition of what we do, in particular for skin cancer. Um, but we've also been recognized by the Responsible AI Institute. They're a global organization that ensures that we do AI the right way. And they looked at us and said, hey, it appears that Skinopathy is the only artificial intelligence company that is looking at skin the right way. And so we've partnered with them, Memorial Sloan Kettering, um, IBM Research, and others to build a global dermatological standard based on our AI. And since then, they've nominated us for AI Startup of the Year, which is pretty cool.